In this video, we'll see how we can find out all the neighbors of a given node or all the adjacent nodes of a given node. Now, this is very important because throughout the series, we are going to be using the same thing time and time again. Whether we are using BFS or we are using DFS, this thing is always needed. Now, let's say I'll have to find out the neighbors of node 0. For that purpose, I'll have to check which nodes are connected to the node 0. As you can see, I can go from go to node 1 and go to node 2 from node 0 so node 1 and node 2 are the neighbors of 0 now let's find out the neighbors of node 1 for that purpose we'll have to find out all the edges that have originated from node 1 now as you can see this one and this edge then this one and also this one all of these edges have originated from 1 so 0 2 3 and 4 these are the neighbors of node 1 now let's say we'll have to find out the neighbors of node 0 using this adjacency matrix. And let's say from the input we learned that we have got 5 nodes and 6 edges. Now as we can see that we have got 5 nodes, it means that there are in total 5 possible nodes. Those can be neighbors of node 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all these 5 nodes can be the neighbor of node 0. Therefore. Let me write all the possible neighbors of node 0. So it can be 0, 0, it can be 0, 1, or 0, 2, 0, 3, or 0, 4. All these 5 possible nodes. The next thing we need to do is start checking all these cells from the matrix. Now 0, 0. As you can see it's 0. So 0 is not connected to 0. So basically 0 is not the neighbor of 0. Then let's move on to 0, 1. As you can see 0, 1 is 1. It means 1 is neighbor of 0. So 1 and 0 are connected as you can see from the graph as well. So 0, 1 is a neighbor of node 0 and then we'll move on to node 0, 2. So 0, 2 is 1. So it means 2 and 0 are connected. So 2 is a neighbor of node 0. And also from the graph, we can see that 2 and 0 are connected. And that means 2 is a neighbor of node 0. Then let's move on to the next one. So it's 0, 3. Now 0, 3 is 0. It means the 3 is not a neighbor of node 0. And let's move on to node 0, 4 it's 0 as well so it means that 0 and 4 are not connected and as you can see from the graph 0 and 4 they are not connected so 4 is not a neighbor of 0 as they are not connected as you can see there are no connections at all now this is exactly what we are going to do inside our program so suppose we are given a node x let's say we are given a node x and we are to find out all the neighbors of node x so we'll write then uh, 0 x1 x2 and we'll continue checking all these values if we find one then it means that that node is connected with the node x now let's try to see how we can do the same thing using the code and i'm using input file so i'm taking all my input from this file now if you observe one thing that when we're asked to find out the neighbors of node 0 we had to check five times so we had to check five cells uh, 0, 0, 0, 001 0, 02 0, 03 and 04 so why did you choose to check for five times because five was the number of nodes so basically we'll have to check for number of node times so if we use a loop then that loop will iterate for node times so number of node times now for that purpose let's take a for loop int i equals zero is less than as the for loop is going to run for node times it's going to be i less than node plus plus i now the value of i will keep incrementing so it will be 0 1 2 3 4 so that's how the values of i will be so let's say we'll find out the neighbors of node 0 or adjacent nodes of node 0 therefore we'll just check if adj of 0 i because we're checking for node 0 now the value 0 will remain constant and the value of i will be 0 1 2 3 4 now the value 0 will uh, remain constant so 0 will be there always and value of i will keep incrementing now if any of those value is 1 that means that ith node is connected with the node 0 so if this if statement is satisfied then it means that i is connected with 0 or 0 is connected with i therefore i is a neighbor of 0 and therefore i'll just print out the value of i now if we run it as output we can see 1 and 2 as output and from the graph we can also see that 0 is connected with 1 and 2 so 1 and 2 are the neighbors of 0 now let's try to do the same thing for node 3 as you can see 1 and 4 
are the neighbors for now three so i'll have to do just a little modification i'll just write three here instead of zero and as output we have got one and four and that's the correct answer